perfect. So these these are the three, and all, and 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 all you need, you don't need the www. Actually, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and open it up. Actually, you know what? You don't even need to open it up. Just copy everything except for the www. We'll just grab it from here. So copy that full link. Yeah, the URL, the domain. Oh, the stage. There we go. There we go. Copy that. And we'll just grab it from here. We don't we don't even need to open it up just yet. So now let's go to the yeah, let's go over there to the, back to the audiences and let's just hit the blue button and create the audience. So custom audience. And then all website visitors, go ahead and hit the drop down and go to specific. And then go ahead and I would on the 30, I would um I would leave it at 30 because this is this is a different audience. So the other mm -hmm. audience was 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 our leads. Yep. Right. And then this audience, this is just people that are seeing your ad. They're clicking on it. They're coming over to your page, but they haven't downloaded it. They haven't opted in. So I would keep it at 30 because this is an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Mm -hmm. So if a person clicked on my ad and they went over to my landing page within the, within the past 30 days, there's a good chance that they'll still remember me. So if I'm mm -hmm. retargeting them on ad number two, it's a good chance that they may still remember me, especially with your branded red. I love that red that you got going on. Yep. I, I think as you continue to do more videos, always have that red on red hat, yep. red, red shirt, because that red just pops. Like it, it really, it, it's a really, really good, good, good. Um, yeah. Just, I chose a, I chose a clever for a reason. Yeah, man. It, it stands really, really out. Good. So, so my point is, is that if I, if you ran ad number one, and I click on it and I go to your landing page, but I don't opt in, right? And then, and, and you capture that data, you capture that data because you have a custom audience set up, you, capture, you captured that data of that audience. And now what you do with that audience is you go and retarget them with ad number two. Mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> yep. But here's my point on the 30. If you change that 30 to 180, or if you had that, that 30 at 55, that means that people within the past 55 days are in this audience. But what if I hit your, your page? What if I saw your ad 52 days ago? I clicked on it. I went to your webpage, but now I'm seeing the, the second ad. At that point, I clicked on your shit 52 years, 52 days ago. I don't remember mm -hmm. you no more. Yep. So if you retarget me and show me another ad, it's chances are I'm not going to remember who you are. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you would have took that 30 to let's say 10. So if you clicked on my ad, if you clicked on my page in the past 10 days, you're going to see another ad from me. Yep. See, at that point, that person is more likely to remember you because it was only seven days ago. It was only 10 days ago. And I, and I remember that red. Mm -hmm. But sometimes people will turn that to 180. And it's like, dude, you got people in this audience that clicked on your ad 171 days ago. They don't remember you no more. I shouldn't. Right. So, <laughs> so have good memory. And let's say they have a good memory, but if they just saw one ad one time in the newsfeed, they clicked for the hell of it. They just didn't opt in. They left the page. They're not going to remember you. Um, so I always try to. So my point is, I always, when it comes to the landing page, this is the landing page custom audience. I need these people to still remember who the hell I am because mm -hmm. this is an audience that I'm going to be retargeting on every ad. Every ad, I want to retarget these people. People that saw my ad, clicked on it, came on my page, but never filled it out. I need to stay top of mind. And so what I would do, I would take that 30. Let's take it down. Let's take it to, let's take it to, let's take it to 14 days. Let's take it to 14. If you've landed on my page in the past 14 days, you're going to see another ad. And so now just take that landing page or the link and just paste it in right there. Paste. Yeah, paste. There it goes. Always hit the drop down. Actually, that's thank you for scheduling. That's the wrong one. Okay, so let's go back. X out of that. X out of that link. No, 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 no. Oh, just okay. the link. Yeah, just the link. Go back to Kartra and just grab the landing page. We just need the landing, the landing page. page. We grab the thank you page. Okay, so. Landing page. Get code. Okay, perfect. So let's just copy it from here. And then, um, and it's always good to open it up in a new tab as well, which we'll do after this. So go ahead and paste it in right there. And let's just simply hit the drop down. And then now here's what we're doing. Again, everything is, is, is specific, 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 specific. So this is an audience of people who landed on the landing page, but never opted in. 
So therefore we have to exclude. So click on exclude people. And now let's grab the link for the thank you page and the link for the thank you for scheduling. So go back to Kartra. Let's grab the thank you, the thank you page link. Those, that's, so that's who we're going to, we're going to exclude because they're people who came to the landing page, but have never opted in. So they've never landed on the thank you page and they for sure never landed on the thank you for scheduling page. So we need to we need to really make sure that this audience are landing page visitors only because that's who we'll be retargeting. Come on. There, there we go. go. Copy that. Okay, so we'll we'll go ahead and hit yeah, we'll match the top. So everything we did at the top, go ahead and hit specific, hit the drop down, go to specific, change the 30 to match the top, and we'll go 14. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? On the exclude, exclude, I'm going to make that 180. Let's max that out at 180 days, 180. Because so, I don't care when it was that you, that you, it doesn't matter. If you've, if you've already opted in, it's not just in the past 14 days. It's, it's, it's 180 max. You're never going to see my ad again. Mm -hmm. So, so let's put the thank you for downloading and let's put, let's put the thank you for scheduling. So let's grab that link as well. Thank you for scheduling. Okay, perfect. And we'll we'll paste that in over here. Paste it in here. Okay, perfect. So now let's name this audience. This is landing page visitors only. Landing page visitors only. So and I'll put only in per, in parentheses. So this audience is a good audience to always retarget. Go ahead and create audience. So as we go and set up future ads, we'll include this ad in targeting and we'll exclude the mm -hmm. lead or we'll exclude the, this audience. We'll include this audience in the targeting and then we'll exclude the inspection guide leads audience. Yep. Right. So hit that. Makes sense. So that's that. And then now we got one more audience. Let's create a custom audience around those who schedule an appointment. So We'll go website again, and then we'll hit next. And then let's just grab the link for thank you for scheduling. In fact, yeah, that's the one we have copied already. Okay, perfect. So now let's just create an audience around around these guys um, because this is an audience also that I'll always exclude. So I'm always, as I'm running ads, I'm always going to exclude my leads, and I'm always going to exclude my appointments. Okay, so we'll go to specific. And I'll just go the, change the 30 to 180. We'll go max on these ones, 180, and then just go ahead and paste in. And nothing needs to be excluded. This is just an audience of anyone who landed on that page. These are my scheduled appointments. That's the name, scheduled appointments. It's so scheduled. Scheduled. That's how you spell that. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Scheduled appointments. That's it. And then create audience. So in your business and in most businesses, it's really it really comes down to those three pages, your landing page, your thank you page, and your scheduled appointment page. Mm -hmm. So those custom audiences, that's all you really need. And then the custom conversion is set up around the um the the inspection guide leads. So now, what we'll do real quick, just so Facebook can read it, let's just go to go back to Kartra. Actually, you already have one pa one link pasted. You have this one pasted. So just open up a new tab and open and, and open it up. Open up a new tab or or from there, whatever. Let's just open up all those links in a new tab so Facebook can read it. Thank you so for scheduling. Let's just hit that pixel helper. Let's make sure that that pixel is the right one. Four nine two five. Okay, perfect. So now let's open up the other one. This is thank you for scheduling. Okay, let's open up the thank you for um, downloading or whatever that that. Actually, you have the thank you for downloading. Let's open up the um the landing page. George, you. So let's go back to Kartra. I think I had to close it out. I think I did close it out. Page. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab that, open it up in a new tab. And just double check that pixel. And when you're opening it, opening it up in a new tab, you can copy the whole damn thing. It's only for the yeah. custom audience and the custom conversion where you only need the URL, just the domain. 
So right here, there's our custom conversion expression guide leads. Um, but actually the landing page, where's the landing page? Open up the landing page. Landing page. I click it over. Why'd you go over there? Why are you so landing page? Okay, so here, yeah, you could just copy the whole thing, double click, perfect. So now Facebook, you know, can read all three pages and we'll always want to double check the pixel helper, 4925. Bam, look at that. Look at that. There. Don't change. Yeah, dude, that, that, I'm glad we're catching this. I'm glad we're catching that. So that's the wrong pixel. Yep. So we'll need to put the, the new pixel on this page. Um, the other the other ones were 4925, right? The other. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just this landing page. This landing page is... Um, we need to change out this pixel. So let's let's do that. But those are the audiences. So those are your three main audiences. Um, any questions on that? I don't think so. Awesome. Cool, man.